Alright, budget magic time. Playing some mono black vampires in modern. And we're gonna try this. We only have one land which is sketchy, but we have so much we can do with two mana. Like if we get to if we get one more land, we can do a lot. And we do have some things we can do on one. Inquisition, aristocrat. Uh, opponent mulligan and scribe to the bottom. I think we're just gonna inquisition. Oh boy, it's dredge. No dredgers. Um, I guess we just take Cathartic Reunion. That still leaves them with Neonate they can play. And it still leaves us needing to draw land for anything to happen this game. But we'll see. Not the scariest stretch hand. We do have some good sideboard. Main deck, we're just hoping to beat down mostly. Aired Mesa, cracks it. Really hoping to draw land. Blood Crypt, untapped. And opponent's gonna Inquisition. Yeah, it's fine. Our hand is pretty redundant. They're all just random two drops for the most part. Also guarantees they're not dredging next turn. Well, I guess they might be able to dredge one. We'll see. Off the takes gifted Aetherborn. Land please? Not a land. Well, indulgent aristocrat. Pass the turn. Dak. Well, we signed up for this, I guess, when we didn't mulligan. Bloodstained Mire. There's the neonate. Land? Not a land. Oh boy. All right, pass the turn. Pony cracks. Blood crypt. Tapped. No dredging yet. Pony end. Gets in with the neonate. Down to 19. <laughs> Says hardcast blood gast. Oh, do they draw another cathartic reunion? That would not be good. Jeez. Jeez. That's the card we inquisitioned. Discards prize to Melgum. <laughs> plays a hollow one. Well, there's a swamp, finally. So, let's... Victim of Night, the hollow one. I don't think any of this is going to matter. Because they just play a land, get back Bloodgast, which gets back Prize to Melgum. Faithless looting for our opponent. Huh. Maybe our opponent's playing a weird build of the Vengevine deck. I guess it could be. Don't know about this Bloodgast business. Another Inquisition. Well, hopefully we keep drawing lands. So maybe this isn't Dredge? Takes Highborn. Wow, no land drop. That's good news. Well, play a Stromkirk Captain. Play a Swamp. Get in with Aristocrat. Wow, all they needed was a land to get back double Blood Gas Prized Amalgam. And they didn't have one. Even after the Faithless looting. Alright, there's the land. Here comes Blood Gas, which trigger Prized Amalgam. If we can draw one more Swamp, though, we might be able to just steal this game. Here comes Prized Amalgam. Yep, it's tapped. Can't block. Land? Inquisition. Well, that's Inquisition. Opponent's going to Fatal Push. I guess we sack. Take Cathartic Reunion. Opponent's empty-handed. Get in for two. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Opponent does not have much going on. Opponent. Gonna leave back the prize to Melgum. Yep. Down to 19. Looting. Not very great value here. Bone's still just gonna have one card in hand. Discards two prize to Melgums. Okay. Ooh, there we go. That's what we were hoping for. Come on, black card on top. It's an aristocrat. All right. Get in for four in the air. And we are one black card away from closing this out next turn. Assuming our opponent doesn't have removal. And our opponent scoops it up. Sweet. Well, we got there in game one, which is huge, because now we get to bring in Tormod's Crypts. Go down to figures do not seem very helpful in this matchup. Um, what else is not helpful? Gatekeeper actually seems pretty sketchy. Maybe we go up the another gifted Aetherborn over some gatekeepers. We don't... <sighs> sacking doesn't really help us for the most part. Maybe we go down the rest of the gatekeepers for the rest of the Victim of Knights as well. That makes sense. At least Victim of Knight can kill, like, a hollow one or something. All right, let's try it like that. Uh, we won last time. I think we're going to mulligan. Into a zero lander. All right, keep mulliganing. Yep, that's what we got. Swamp I, uh, to the top. Not feeling too confident on this mold of five. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No Graveyard Hate, two Victim of Knights, which are kind of questionable. 
Uh-huh, maybe we should have kept the one lander. We got lucky for it to work out in game one. Aired Mesa for our opponent. Cracks it. And there's the neonate. Well, Swamp Goo. How can we possibly win? Probably involves Tormod's Crypt is the most likely. Neonate gets in for one. And Faithless Looting. Maybe we should have just aggressively scribed to the bottom to try to find a Tormod script with how this hand looks. That probably would have been correct. Scrounger, Bloodgast. Man, our opponent's deck seems very susceptible to Graveyard Hate. Bloodgast coming back. Cracks Mesa. Mountain, more Neonates. Well, playing all generous to crap, play a swamp, pass the turn. I guess we're back on the steal a game with Nocturnus plan, for the most part. It is super powerful when it works. If one gets in, we take a billion, also known as four. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Well, there's a land, so let's get in with the Dalgin Aristocrat. Might as well, since we're not blocking. And pass the turn. So we probably have to Victim of Night something this turn. Opponent sacks Neonate, discards a land. Gets back Scrappy Scrounger. Well, that's probably what we're going to kill, I guess. I'm guessing our opponent has Fatal Push, unfortunately. Well, kill Scrappy. I don't know why else they'd be leaving this Marsh Flats. Which means we might not be able to Nocturnus... Hmm. Getting Nocturnus Fatal Push is super bad for us. It, we basically just lose if that happens. I don't think we can win. I think it's our only real way of winning. Alright, let's do this then. Let's play Captivating Vampire. Play a Swamp. Get in with Aristocrat. So maybe this will bait our opponent into cracking the fetch and using the Fatal Push on Captivating Vampire. And then we can Nocturnus next turn. Eh, it looks like it might be working. I still don't know if this plan wins uh, for us, but it's our best chance. Like, our best chance of winning is this Nocturnus. So, yep, there's Fatal Push from the fetch land. We hit our opponent for one. Let's see if they crack the Neonate to get back Scrounger. Well, for being a mold of five and not drawing any graveyard hate, this has went pretty well for us. All right, Scrounger coming back. What do you got, opponent? Uh, Cathartic Reunion. Uh, yup, yup, yup. They got a Blood Guest in the Graveyard, too. Not good. So, Land gets back Prize Amalgam Blood Guest if they have it. They just drew three. What are the odds that they don't have a land? Seems small. Oh, Grimag Angler. Okay. No land. Well, I mean, let's go for it. Vampire. We do have a black card on top, so get in in the air. Hit our opponent to 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, let's see. We are certainly in a fragile position. That life gain also means blood gas doesn't come back with haste. What's our opponent got? Another cathartic reunion, maybe? Uh, murderous cut. Yeah, that does it. We drop to two, we kill Angler, and our opponent has a bolt. Yeah, well, that was a pretty brutal mulligan. Ah, uh, yep, run it back. Let's just get a good hand. I feel like with a just a reasonable hand, we should be in pretty good shape against this deck. All right, come on, deck. Good hand for once. Well... Okay, I guess this is a s okay hand. Not overly powerful, but there's a chance we can really punish our opponent with Inquisition. If they're leaning on Cathartic Reunion or something. So let's just Inquisition. We'll take Faithless Looting. Pass the turn. The next turn we can take the Cathartic Reunion. Opponent passes. More swamps. Well, let's Inquisition. They drew another Faithless Looting. Well, take the Faithless Looting. Hope our opponent does not draw land for a minute. 
planned Elgin Aristocrat. Also hope that we draw some creatures. All right, no land. That's a good sign. We draw a swamp. We'll play a swamp, get in with Indulgent Aristocrat. If our opponent ever draws a land, things can go pretty poorly. They draw a Lightning Bolt, so we have absolutely nothing going on. That was another time our opponent drew what we took. Exactly the next turn. Well, opponent's on the timeout plan. Actually, it's game three. They're not going to timeout, but they are taking their time. All that because you drew a land? Oh my god. The land is the nuts. <laughs> oh boy. Yup, now you get to Cathartic Reunion. Yup. Oh, I just play Scrap Heap? Okay. Well, do we draw a threat? Uh, Nocturnus is a threat. That is not a bad one. Ooh, and another Lord on top. Alright, alright, alright. Things are shaping up. Here comes Cathartic Reunion. So our opponent's trying to set up Cathartic Reunion, get a land. And they miss? Opponent passes. Alright, that's good. Play Ghost Quarter. Play Captivating Vampire. Get in for six in the air. Pass the turn. We might be able to set up the win. We can put a counter on Captivating Vampire with Urge to Feed. And that gives us exactly 11 if there's a black card on top of our deck. <laughs> oh boy. I guess our opponent can discard and get back a 1-1, one, one, but we have Victim of Night. Jeez. Well, we'll see. We'll see what our opponent does. Looting. Okay. If, oh, boy. They need to hit a land, or they can't get back Haunted Dead. Inquisition discarded, looting discarded. Opponent goes to combat, gets in. Yeah, we'll take it. Looting. Okay. Oh man, we might be going we might be going for it. This means Haunted Dead's off the table. Opponent can play Hollow One for free. We know they have that in hand. There's a land. Black Cleave Glyphs. Yep, gets back the dorks, gets back the dorks. There's Hollow One. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, let's just untap. Black card? It's a black card. Alright. So let's attack with both. Put our opponent to one. Pass the turn. No fetch lands. Man, I think we would have won if we went for it too. We could have went after hollow one to not turn on a fatal push. Maybe that's correct. Maybe we should have just done it. Just to get one counter for lethal. I feel so weird, but maybe that was the right course of action. Let's see what our opponent does. Gets in. Yup. Down to 12. So black card on top. I guess we can even ghost quarter ourselves to get a shuffle if we have to. Opponent's passing. All right, what's on top? It's a black card. And that does it, got the GG's. Sweet. Nocturne is doing some serious work. Uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Thanks for watching the video. If you're subscribed, make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications for all the latest videos. It's a great way to support the channel for free, and you can find the next video right here.